How's it going everybody? This is Aaron Jolly back with Rainier Arms. Today we're going to be talking about the BDE suppressor. That is the Bravo Delta Echo suppressor from PWS. So very first thoughts when we had the opportunity to open up this suppressor, PWS did a great job with presentation. Not only do you have this super nice hard case that it's got, but as you open this thing up, just some of the signage and everything that you have, it looks like, I feel like I was just wined and dined at an expensive restaurant, right? I've got a super nice label that looks like it should be on a whiskey glass. Uh, I've got the envelope which houses the tools to take apart the suppressor as well as your owner's manual and then once we get past the foam we get into the suppressor itself now with the pws suppressor the bde the bravo delta delta echo this is a 762 can so anything of 308 caliber down uh, you're able now to shoot out of this can it's they've taken the time to use aircraft grade technology uh, in order to 3D print a lot of a lot of the suppressor, majority of it. Now the baffles themselves, the, the modular baffles, those are done out of CNC, just like a normal can would be. However, the main stack of the suppressor itself is 3D printed out of titanium. This allows the suppressor to be lighter as well as more durable when using it in different conditions and everything like that. I also want to touch on the fact that PWS serialized this suppressor right at the very entrance chamber. So if something were to, God forbid, go wrong with your suppressor, the thing you're going to be, the thing that's going to help you out and be beneficial to you is the fact that it's probably going to happen from this point forward. No matter how many uh, baffles you have added on, chances are if you're going to have an issue, it's going to happen from right here forward. Meaning that if you do have something go wrong, now you don't have to try to go through all of the process to get a new suppressor. Now they, PWS can just replace the portion that is broken. So you are able now to not have to worry about repurchasing tax stamps, getting new serial numbers, any of that. It's all taken care of. They just replace the broken portions, whichever that might be, and then you have your old can with your same serial number back. So my favorite thing about this suppressor is the fact that it comes with a direct thread, but here's what I love most. So I run an ASR Silencer Co. mount. Uh, this suppressor is able to take a Silencer Co. ACR adapter. So at this point, we're able to go ahead and thread that in. Now I can pop that right on my gun. I've got a quick detach ready to go. It is a 1.375 by 24 thread pitch. So that's gonna allow you to pretty much throw in any kind of quick adapter that you would want to onto the suppressor and then get it onto a firearm. The modularity of the BDE now allows it to also be used in pretty much any scenario that you'd want. You can take it just like this, um, throw the end cap on and you've got a short configuration. Uh, we also had the ability to take this and shoot it in a long configuration, which significantly reduced the amount of um, decibels that you hear from that 308. Uh, we shot a big old bullet. Uh, we were out there having some fun, but in this long configuration, which just that fast, I put it all together, it was able to significantly reduce that, that decibel uh, level that you hear, which was, was surprising for how light this suppressor is. They also, with their design, have it set up so that it will help defeat and dissipate heat a little bit better. So if you're a long range precision shooter, you're running this uh, out to distance and everything like that, you don't have to fight the mirage if you're running multiple shots time and time again. 
Uh, tried to get that portion on film to show kind of what Mirage looks like. Unfortunately, we weren't actually able to catch any of that Mirage on film, which means the suppressor did its job. One, one big thing that I did notice, and I had to refer back to the conversation that we had with PD, PWS, was that I noticed that no matter what I did, I didn't have to worry about checking this can. I did just out of force of habit to see if anything was backing off, especially as I put it into different thread mounts or changed out the different uh, baffle stacks on it. Uh, but I noticed that no matter what, it kept, everything was tight. I didn't have to worry about anything backing off. But when I referred back to um, some of the, the details of the can, that's one of the big things they have. So they have tapered threaded um, baffles. So as you tighten that on, the chances of it backing off are significantly reduced. Also, the fact that they have that taper in, now you don't have to worry about a carbon lock near as much as what you have in the past, which I noticed that because once it's down, it's tight. I don't have to worry about it backing off, but it is very easy, no matter the amount of rounds that we shot through, to break this free and pull off individual baffles if I so choose. Now, one last thing is that out of the 3D printed parts, all of those are finished on a lathe. That's going to allow all of the thread patterns and everything like that to be perfect exactly where they need to be so there's less of a chance for something to go wrong. Before we get too much farther, I did want to take a second and let you guys know the new issue of UN12 is out. Also in UN12, you'll notice we've got a spot set up strictly for TriggerCon. 2022, guys, TriggerCon 2022 is right around the corner. It's coming in fast, you don't wanna miss out. So I know that the BDE is a brand new suppressor. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down below. We'll make sure to get uh, all those answered for you. If you haven't already, like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in shooting this, TriggerCon 2022, PWS will be there. So you'll have the opportunity to get hands on with it, as well as see what that suppressor is gonna do in an outdoor environment. This has been Aaron Jolly with Rainier Arms. We'll see you next week.